Hello, Planet Sewers. Welcome back to the Houston Zoo. Just a quick flyover from the nature walk through the elephants and then on to our newest exhibit, which or habitat, which would be, I'm not sure how you say this, Okapi, Okapi. If anybody knows, let me know. I should have Googled that um, before I started this, but oh well. There's some happy elephants. And here we are with our newest addition. We have some staff building and we have the Okapi, Okapi, the Okies, anyway. Um, I originally put those way back there. And then when I revisited Google Earth, I realized that they were actually over here. They had some staff facilities. So I decided to put them there and ran a path back. And I went and grabbed this from the uh, elephant habitat and kind of made it a little bit bigger because they did have a little bit of a sunshade right there for them. And I do apologize because I lost some video, didn't hit the right button at the right time. I'm not sure what happened. Um, so you do get this section, but you guys will miss out on this little bit of deck that I did right there. Um, so all I did for that deck was I used the Aquatic Jetty blueprint that's already in the game. I took off the short section and then just duplicated that around. Um, I did make my own little fencing there with just some mesh and added uh, parts from the jetty itself to create the fence. I wanted to keep the same color tone. And then what I'm doing right here is instead of a custom fence, I am just using one of the in-game New World fences. Hello, Ruby. And I am just putting that around and then I flipped it over and r raised it up um, so that it would be a little higher, uh, much like I did over in the nature walk. It's the same fence. So just speeding through that. This video is pretty simple in its build. Um, these habitats that are over here in this part of the zoo really aren't too spectacular, so to speak. They're pretty simple, just some fence, some land. Um, they do have quite a few animals over here. They have the okapi, they have uh, pygmy hippos, they have, what else is over here? I think they had zebras and that's all I can remember offhand. Um, but we're not gonna continue this direction um, just yet. I am going to start work uh, this week on the reptile house that goes in between the elephants and the, ref and the reflection pool. I cannot talk ever, but anyway. Um, so anyway, that's where we're gonna go is do the reptile house. Um, I may bounce back and forth. I feel like I've done a lot of house building in this zoo. Uh, not a lot of habitat building. There's a lot of big buildings in here. Um, so I want to make sure we're still bringing animals and not so much focused on just buildings and exhibits, even though there are a lot of those in this zoo. Um, so I may bounce back and forth uh, once I get kind of, we'll see on how the other house will go because the nature encounter house uh, I think it took me three or four episodes really like six if you count the meerkats and the nature walk behind it um, but anyways I was super happy with this habitat it's simple um, but it captures everything I could see from Google Earth and what I remembered from my own visit um, I did sink these trees down. I just felt they were way too big and there were not a lot of options for plants for this animal. Um, and even though it says they can't walk through those plants, I was thinking about sinking them down. I may still do that just a little bit, um, but they can walk through them. So it's not in their way. Um, they have tons of space. This habitat is way bigger than they need, but they do have their own little section back there. Um, those animals are very shy. 
and they get scared real easily. So they do tend to hang out way back there. They don't really kind of come close to the uh, deck that I built. I may need to move some things around, but I know in other zoos that I've had these in, it really struggles um, with them being stressed out. They get stressed out really easily. So props to the Houston Zoo. They did give them some nice little area behind a fence where guests can't see them, that they can go and hang out by themselves. So I just copied this simple little uh, log and rope edging and brought it over here. And then I continued out with what I had done. And you'll kind of see how I made that deck right there. Um, I just borrowed that log, brought it straight up, and then brought it up again. Um, got rid of the lighting that was on it and the brackets and then added mesh so it wasn't really that hard um, and then I just put the staff or the staff the path underneath it raised it up to where you could just barely see I used the natural path um, and just raised it up so that you could see the little hooks that they have on that kind of like the bracket um, to be able to get the level right and added the path in right here I just kind of I'm gonna go this way a little bit because I know there's more coming so I just left it like that for now and instead of messing up my path here I just decided I'm gonna throw a bunch of trash cans under here um, hopefully that will keep guests out and then I kind of put some bushes in there to kind of hide a little bit what was going on under my deck um, and then I thought that kind of looked good so I used the top of that um, that tree there, the mangrove tree, to be a bush um, because this is so close to the habitat barrier that I didn't want the okapi to get upset or okapi, however it said, um, with the plant choice. So limited in options. I was really disappointed at how many plants are available for this animal. Uh, not, not as many choices as I'm used to so I did struggle a little bit um, to get those plants in and then I did move the education a little bit under the deck instead so quick walk through um, this time we're gonna do a little peek in here for anybody that hasn't seen it yet uh, this is the aquarium part we're just gonna poke our head in and you get a little look at what it looks like in there uh, currently that's all torn up uh, when I visited the zoo, you couldn't go over there. So, um, and then over here, we'll just pop our head in. Here's the gift shop. I just kind of created this out of my own mind once I had the space in. It was really hard to recreate that, how the Houston Zoo has it. And they've also changed a lot of that too. They're building, oh goodness, Ruby, a new section of the zoo uh, where the Macaw Cafe was. So it's all very different right now and we'll just stop by the building here I haven't been through it um, since I moved the zoo into its new file um, if you didn't know I had to move everything I was so excited to do this project I didn't realize I was building into the border and so I had to move all the builds so anyway here we are in the nature encounters building natural encounters Anyway, um, and here's our giant otters. They're playing the part of river otters. So they're not out at the moment. I didn't see any, maybe I missed them. And then over here we have the capuchin monkeys. Um, in that exhibit, they actually have like a sloth and some really tiny monkeys. I forget what they were called. Um, but anyway, and um, I think a couple of birds were in here as well. So, and then they did have a bunch of fake trees. The roof was uh, all done with leaves, but I left mine uh, more clean. And the game did yeet me to the roof, so I had to start over. And so I'm walking really slow through here because I didn't want to get yeeted again. Um, and so we just have this little tunnel, which is really a crawl space uh, for kiddos. Um, this section's a little different than if you were actually to visit the Houston Zoo. It doesn't spit you out over here, um, but that's what I did.
to accommodate the tunnel. And we have mole rats. And so I do have some of the things that they had available on their information boards from the Natural Encounter building. I took some pictures and threw those up in here. Uh, we have the aquarium back here. One of those isn't working. I'm not sure why. I'll have to figure that out because I did do video of the jellyfish that were there. And I need to finish that little section, but over here is pretty much done. I did windows. Woohoo! This building's finally done. I finished the roof. I did not enjoy it. I do not like custom roofs. It was the bane of my existence for two weeks trying to get that done. Mostly just lack of motivation. It's very repetitive getting rid of all those tiny pieces. So the education center is pretty much done. There's a couple things I could do to make it a little more accurate um, and fun. They have like animals on some windows on one of the walls that I did not do. And then right here, I made a little update. Um, I borrowed from ZSH Plays the bug house. I did ask him before I plopped these in and I do need to fix my stands. I see I did this from too high. It looked like they were connected and they are not. Oh well, I'll fix those later today. But anyway, I also added in education boards through here as well as education speakers. And I did add trash cans as well as just put down a few statues right there. Um, when you visit the Houston Zoo, they actually have a little thing where you can stand and it will say, um, how does an elephant hear? So it's supposed to, I guess, simulate how they hear and what they can hear from far away. It's pretty neat. You stick your head in it. Um, oops, there, there goes my corgi. He's running. But I added those few things down here. So I wanted to do a quick run down that path so you could see some of the changes. And then I put more of those bug houses that he has in his cool project from CSH Plays in his Tecton Zoo. I really love that project. And then my elephants, like they're all in the pool. That's amazing. Uh, they're actually using it. They're so cute. And then I did add, let me, let me get a look at them in. Oh, he got up on the thing. I guess only the babies can get up there. But to the right, I did add some seating. It's hard to make the, st the stadium seating that they have there um, and actually have it function. So a quick peek of what this looks like, all finished. We have our little support area and you can see into the um, elephants right there. And we're gonna go, we're not gonna go all the way down there. Um, I'm probably gonna change a little bit of that pathing, but I did add off screen some more plants, I think. Um, I wanted to kind of cover that up as they were walking even uh, more for the elephants so they're not distracted. And here is our viewing deck. I did forget to put in the sunshade. I think there's a sunshade here on the deck. So I may have to add that. And they really did not cooperate with me. They did not come out here. I had to stand there for a while. Um, so let's go and we'll just check them out instead. So I gave them a little water feature. I don't think the Houston Zoo has that, but I like to give the animals a fresh water source uh, if I can. That's my favorite thing. So I don't have to use the little water pipe. So they're hanging out with their stuff and they've got a pretty simple habitat. They really don't need a lot as far as their enrichments go. There were really only a couple things to give them. Um, I did get a great shot of them on the other video that I did. My computer decided to eat two videos today, um, so I redid the walkthrough. But anyway, with that leaf um, enrichment that's hanging, I got a good shot of them playing with it. I'm not sure if I included it in this little cinematic of pictures at the end. But anyway, I was trying to wait and see if they would come over here since um, they got fed. And it looks like, oh, here comes one. I wonder how close it's gonna get. On the other video, they never came all the way up. They just came to right about there and turned around. It looks like he may come a little closer, or she. Anyway, 
let's see if we can get a better look from down here. Um, watch should be gone by the time I get down there. Oh, he turned around, of course, yep. They only come about that close and then they turn around. I guess there's, I need to move some things a little closer, but they are kind of shy, so that's okay. But here we are with our somatics. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this short one. Next week we will start the reptile house and I will have a change to my live streams. Um, on Saturdays, the time is going to change. So I will be streaming either at two or three. I'll let you know on Twitch schedule, which one it's going to be. Um, and it's gonna be from here on out. I'll start streaming at that time. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. And I hope you have a wonderful day. May the RNG odds be ever in your favor.